In this video you will learn how to use FacePager for web scraping. As an example we show you how to download teasers for articles from the online edition of the newspaper Die Zeit. First of all we need to find out how the link is structured. For Zeit Online we have HTTPS as protocol, Zeit.de as domain, Suche slash index as path and Q as parameter here with the search term Corona. The link can also contain several parameters. If, for example, several pages of results are to be examined, you can click on next page below and then find the parameter p in the link above, which equals 2 since you are on the second page of results. These findings are then transferred to FacePager. We need to select the generic module on the lower left area. The protocol and domain are specified as the base path, while the path is the resource and in this case q together with the object id are specified as the parameters. With the object ID instead of the search term, you have the opportunity of examining several search terms using add notes. With the procedure shown here, FacePager automatically compiles the link for each entered search term. For our example, we stick with the search term Corona. Now it's necessary to identify the HTML code of the page that is relevant for the data collection. In order to identify it, right click on one of the articles and select examine element if you're working with Firefox. However, there are similar functions in other browsers. If you move your cursor over the individual elements in the source code, you can see that Firefox highlights the corresponding element on the website. For example, you can find out that an article tag is an article on the results page. The code can then be examined for the relevant sections. To read the code out, we set response to text. Select the search term and click Fetch Data. The resulting object can then be searched with Extract Data, so you can try out which functions are suitable to get to the desired positions in the source code. These functions are then used for the actual collection in FacePager. For our example, we select Text as Response and enter the range we need for further exploration as Key to Extract. In this case, these are all article tags specifically all articles on one results page. With key for object ID, we specify which ID an article should receive. In our case, this should be the link to the actual article. In the other columns, we extract further information, such as the headline and the teaser text. Of course, there is more interesting information you could collect, like the date or the authors of the article. To explain this more precisely, we switch to a two-window view. Here we now have the page source code on the left and the results page on the right. About the key to extract, with text you select the page source code. This is passed on with the vertical bar, also known as pipe, for examination using additional functions such as in this case CSS selectors. By writing CSS colon, we indicate that the following are CSS selectors. With article.zonteaserstandard, we select all article text that indicated by the dot belong to the class Zonteaser Standard, which are all articles on the results page. With key for object ID, we extract the link to the respective article. You can have a look at the code of an article in detail. Here you can see, for example, that an article has a tag A of the class Zonteaser Standard combined link. The link you are looking for can be found in the href attribute. The further procedure works according to a similar principle. With text, we select the article source code, which you have already selected. We pass this on again with the vertical bar for examination with CSS selectors. This time we select all the A tags that belong to the class Zonteaser Standard combined link. We then pass the whole thing on using XPath so that we get the content of the href attribute in the A tag with at href which is the article link. Since the other columns work according to the same principle, the following example shows how the teaser text is extracted. There is a special feature here. With teaser equals, we simply name the column in FacePager in which the teaser text is saved. Apart from that, the collection works in a similar way to the last two steps. Here again, the article source code is passed on for examination with CSS selectors. This time the P tags are examined. These belong to the Zon Teaser Standard text class. We then pass these on for examination using XPath. This time we use the function string to get to the text. You can also see this in the source code if you click on the three points here. 
An overview of CSS selectors and the options that XPath offers are linked in the video description. Since there are usually several pages of search results, you can specify below how many of the pages should be examined. In order to do so, set count under paging and set the parameter p for the page number under param. Also it makes sense to add 1 as value when setting the start value in step, because we want to start on the first page, and then always want to count up one page. For maximum pages, we set 3 here in the example. That means we want to examine the first three pages of results. With stop key, you could specify a stop condition. Then no further pages would be examined as soon as a certain value appears on a page. You can now see what the process ultimately looks like. You select the search term or the search terms if there are several and click fetch data. FacePager then loads all articles on the first three result pages. You can see that the respective link to the article is now saved in object ID, while the heading and the teaser text are saved in the additional columns. As you can see at offcut, a result page ends. So all in all, the three pages were loaded. To export the results, for example to be able to examine them further with Excel or R, you select the desired data and save it in CSV format with export data. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. You can download the FacePager program on GitHub under the FacePager releases page. Further information and get started instructions are also available in the FacePager wiki on GitHub. If you have specific questions, you'll find answers on Facebook in the FacePager user group. And if you liked the video, we'd appreciate your thumbs up and would be happy to help you using FacePager with the other videos on this channel.